Once again, I've broken out my little uh, brushless uh, DC motor, guys, and we're using it as an alternator in this case. We're obviously motoring the motor. So this is a generator, AC generator, three phases. I've got it picked off. I've showed you this in the past, how it overlaps by 120 degrees in the three phases that it puts out. It's a permanent magnet generator, and there's a uh, windings inside, which translates to three phase output, yeah. Once again, I've got my little hastily prepared um, six diode, um, full wave bridge rectifier. And of course there's a load across it so that it'll actually be functional. So what I've got is the, uh, just a single channel in use here on my uh, scope. And you're gonna see the output as I actually turn it on. You'll hear me turn it up. Let me keep you on screen. So there's the output. You can see we're actually generating a little bit of DC here and loaded with a LED load. Let me just hold that image. So what we have here is essentially the um, the ripple uh, that we're looking at on the uh, on the scope, right? So you can see again, it's just over uh, four volts, and uh, yeah, you can see the this of course is the three phases um, rectified on both sides because of the six diodes, and this is our DC output here. Right, that's fine. You guys have heard me talking about this before. I'm kind of covering the same ground you've already heard about, right? So what I'm gonna do today is simulate a few failures. And what we can do is, I'm not gonna short the, because uh, I'd like to continue to use this. I'm not gonna short the windings, but I can open one of the phases. We can see the effect. We can open one of the diodes and we can short one of the diodes and see what kind of impact it actually has. Uh, on the scope trace. The idea being this is simulating an alternator output from your car and we'll see what kind of effect it actually has on the wave, right? So, well, let's start that, right? Again, let me, uh, so let me restart the trace here. Again, so you can just appreciate and see it coming up. And of course, the speed. is having an impact on not only how loud this is, <laughs> but how much output we actually have, yeah? So let's just open one of the phases here. I'll try and keep you on screen here while I open it. Okay, now we're missing one of the phases. I'll hold that image on screen so I don't need to talk over it. And you can see the drastic impact that it actually has on the uh, on the uh, output. Um, yeah, I know it looks like we're actually looking at a single phase AC here, uh, as a matter of fact, right? You can see the the ripple effect or is basically gone, and we're looking at, as I said, like it looks like a single phase AC with the with the one phase being open. Right, again, this is simulating an open on one of the phases. So let's just run this again. I'll keep you on screen. Pick it back up. It'll be out of frame here, guys, but you'll see the impact. And now we're back to the three phase rectified. That's the normal, uh, that is the normal approach, right? So what I'm gonna do now, is I've got this line actually hooked up to here, this point here, so I'm actually gonna short across the uh, the diode. So keep an eye here, guys. This puts a massive load on the tool, and uh, I'll have a huge impact on the, uh, hang on to your thing, it's gonna cork. So you can see the effect that it has on the ripple. Let me just change the, uh, <laughs> something cook in there let me change the time base here guys and do that again keep it on there's the wave we're actually looking at there so that's having a huge impact on the output and you can see wow you can smell that and 
change the fan base back again. And then we're back to our original ripple here. Okay. So let me go get a pair of cars and we'll actually open one of the diodes. Okay, so I have my cars here, guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip the, uh, the leads to uh, one of the diodes. I don't suppose it'll matter which one I do. Or perhaps it will with respect to the positive and negative. Not sure, let's find out. All right, let's start her up again. All right. Let's go, let's go. Why not? Keep an eye on the LED. similar effect to have in the open on the uh, one stator winding. Can you hold that? Yeah, very similar effect to having, uh, as you can see there guys, it is in fact cut. And that is the result in waveform. Not only did it drop down on the input, input but we've lost the ripple effect and it's mimicking pretty much the uh, an AC sine wave there, single phase. So yeah, drastic uh, impact. Uh, you could see how you could likely continue to operate. You know, obviously you're not gonna have adequate charging if this was a real world scenario with your alternator. You still have some DC as massively rippled as it is. This is effectively DC, it's above the line, yeah. So it's DC, now keep in mind guys, these, these voltages are only for demonstration purposes. They don't clearly, mimic uh, they clearly don't mimic a, a automotive system but um the idea is the same you know the displacement off the zero line would be at a higher amplitude but other than that i think the effect would be roughly the same so yeah that's with an open diode you'd still have dc being generated although it'd be massively impacted with respect to its output uh the amplitude and of course, the amount of wattage you'd be able to draw from it would be massively reduced, but there is still some output. Um, yeah, I don't think you'd be operating very long with a shorted diode. You can hear the massive load that was being imposed on the uh, system because, of course, with the short, some of the current is running back through the windings when it shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, so it was loading the system up. Um, and uh, the open stator was very similar to this uh, actually here. So the open stator and the open diode is a bit tricky to discern in this test setup at least. Yeah, so I don't know, it was kind of interesting. Uh, the shorted diode output was, yeah, something. Right, that's it boys. I just wanted to see that for myself. Reading it in a textbook is one thing, but actually doing it is, is another. That's it. Cheers.